Why don't fish freeze in Antarctica? As known about Antarctica, it is an inhospitable place for natural life due to the extremely low temperatures, with strong icy winds blowing all the time. Perhaps this makes us wonder about the ability of fish to adapt and live in these force majeure conditions. Especially as they are sensitive organisms to environmental changes and can die for the simplest reasons. Fish are cold-blooded, a phrase we often hear but we don't know its exact meaning. A cold-blooded organism is an animal whose body temperature depends on the environment around it. This is seen in fish and other reptiles and amphibians. On the other hand, warm-blooded animals can maintain their own body temperature. Most warm-blooded animals have little trouble adjusting to a range of different temperatures. This is seen mostly in mammals and birds. Some fish have adapted to a warm-blooded diet, such as the Pacific bluefin tuna, which exhibit heat exchange from arteries and veins. The opa fish, which is a fish found in Hawaii, is actually warm-blooded. However, this is not the case with fish that live in Antarctica, as they are cold-blooded, but they have evolved an interesting adaptation. Dangers of low temperatures in Antarctica It is important that blood continues to flow throughout the body of an organism to stay alive. Blood is a carrier of oxygen and nutrients to different parts of the body, so what will happen to normal blood in Antarctic creatures? As a general rule, a large portion of our blood is water 90% of it, which means our blood would freeze at the South Pole. Because of the high salt content in the ocean, the temperature of the frozen water drops to minus 1.9 degrees Celsius. Sub-zero temperatures lead to the formation of ice crystals in the blood. And when these crystals form, they damage all of our cells. Cold-blooded fish, in particular, find other ways to combat extreme hypothermia, since they don't rely solely on their own body heat to survive. Antifreeze blood. When we say antifreeze, we mean certain compounds that are added to water to lower its freezing point. The way typical antifreeze works is by preventing ice crystals from forming. Arctic fish have compounds called antifreeze proteins in the fish's body, and these compounds are produced like any other protein in the body. Ice forms when water is compressed into a specific crystal lattice. What this means is that the water condenses as the molecules get closer together, and as the space between the molecules decreases, the water molecules attract each other more strongly, creating a crystal lattice. The antifreeze proteins in the fish's blood get into these crystal lines and prevent them from joining together. If the crystals are prevented from joining together, they cannot form ice in the blood. At the very least, they couldn't form ice crystals large enough to cause any harm to their bodies. Antarctic fish weren't the only organisms to evolve this trait as a melee adaptation. Antifreeze proteins are found in many other organisms, including ice diatoms and some bacteria, as well as snow mold fungi and even some beetles. The interesting thing is that these adaptations evolved in different ways, but ended up with the same result. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the upcoming videos.